Hey, I'm the Polish Lorax, and I forgot to make a video this year, so here it is. Is Content Warning a blatant clone of Lethal Company? I know that your dopamine receptors are probably really burnt out, so I'm going to put some uh, like Subway Surfers or CSGO gameplay in the background. Both Lethal Company and Content Warning are multiplayer intended games in which you and your friends explore an abandoned facilities in search of a reward. In Lethal, that reward is scrap to sell, and in uh, Content Warning, it is videos of your friends getting attacked by creatures. They both have spooky monsters, which attack you throughout the facilities that you uh, explore. They both require you to go into the facility and obtain what you can and return to a ship, which for the most part, are uh, they are safe. Then you give your items scrap and footage respectively to fill a quota before the time runs out. Both games also contain a shop in which you can purchase very similar items to assist you along your journey. As well as this, both games use proximity chat to enhance the game in similar ways. From this, we can already tell that Content Warning is at least heavily inspired from Lethal Company, if not a clone, considering that Lethal Company came out mid-October 2023, while Content Warning came out early April 2024. Now, that it, now though, if that doesn't convince you enough, let's look at the monsters. Big Slap versus the Thumper. Big Slap is a large, fast-moving, heavy-hitting tank which can close distance and kill players with ease. Sound familiar? The Thumper is a large, very fast-moving and hard-hitting unit of a creature. They can move incredibly fast in a straight line and will easily kill players if, scratch that, when it catches them. Now, I'll cover the dog and the turret. The dog is a creature in Content Warning which walks around with a cannon mounted on his back. The cannon scans for, uh, for around for enemies using a red or uh, a red beam, and if it sees one, it will f open fire and continuing firing until line of sight is broken. While technically not a monster, the turret is a stationary emplacement in the facilities, which scans around the area, and if it notices a player, it will open fire, which means certain death if you can't find a wall to hide behind. Slurper versus Snare Flea. The Slurper is a creature which attaches itself to ceilings and once a player goes below it, attaches itself to them, pulling them into the ceiling and slowly draining their health. The Snare Flea is a small bug which hangs onto ceilings and waits for players to walk below. Upon a player doing so, it grabs the player and slowly drains their health. They are both very hard to remove solo and usually require friends to remove it. In conclusion, I believe Content Warning is a copy of Lethal Company, which to be fair I don't blame the creators, as Lethal Company made an estimated $100 million, with 10 million copies being sold. However, even if they wanted to capitalise off of the market, they should have, have came up with, a, with, more, with more core gameplay changes to make it less of a clone. We've also got to remember, Zeekers made Lethal Company solo, while Content Warning had a team of at least five people and a major co a publishing company behind it. Well, thanks for watching, and if you've made it this far, please maybe think about liking or subscribing.